when I first started in this industry, it was this big, massive ball of stress, like huge ball of stress. I had no idea how to use tools. I couldn't even double wrench. I didn't even know what double wrenching was. Now, when I use the reference of a five-year-old child and doing heart surgery, that's to put things into perspective for you guys. Imagine the stress a doctor goes through about making a mistake. Guys, the stress of changing a compressor should not compare to the stress of doing heart surgery on a child. On top of having to learn tools, I had to learn a brand new trade that included electrical, gas, refrigeration. So there were times in my career that yes, I cost customers money by making mistakes. But listen, grieving on those mistakes and the hassle you cost the customer, you can't control what happens after that. All you can control is how you go forward from that point, how you learn from that mistake, and how you don't make that mistake again. It wasn't easy, and the fact that I was by myself most of the time made it that more difficult. Like, think about it. In the business world, you're in an office, you got a boardroom, you have computers, fax machines, phones, the internet, Wi-Fi, everything is right there. When you're an HVAC technician, you're by yourself a lot. You're trying to solve problems by yourself. And back then when I first started, I had a two-way radio. No internet, no phone, nothing. Every super tech you've ever worked with has made tons of mistakes. That's how they know so much, because they've learned from every single one. But what, what possesses them to go out there and say, I'm gonna make a mistake today and I'm gonna learn from it. Well, what possesses them to do that is to realize that you gotta step out of your comfort zone in order to learn. If you stay within your comfort zone, you're gonna get stale and you're gonna be stale and you will never advance. Nowadays, we have phones with the internet on them, okay? We have podcasts, we have YouTube, we have all kinds of ways to learn, all right? So let me tell you something, it's HVAC. It's nuts, bolts, compressors, oil, contactors, relays. After you work on a boiler, go home. Read up on that boiler. After you change a compressor, go home. Read up on compressor changes. Read up on the refrigerant that you were using and you charge the system with. Read up on the oil that's in there, how it works. These are the things that you have to do in order to become better at this trade of HVAC. If you've ever felt like you weren't smart enough or good enough for this trade, trust me, I've been there, but trust me, you got it within you. You have it within you to overcome that, okay? You have to build a base knowledge. You have to become an adult. Okay, you gotta rely on your instincts and develop the skill that's needed to become an HVAC tech. If you feel like teaching the younger generation is gonna put your livelihood at risk, then I'm gonna tell you something right now, you have no confidence in your abilities as a technician whatsoever. A confident technician knows they have nothing to fear because they know they're smart, they know they're intelligent, and they know they can overcome any problem that's thrown at them. Technicians like that are coveted and they're valued. So guys, do not be scared to teach the young generation. Once you learn to educate yourself, once you learn to be confident, and once you learn to teach and pass that information along to the younger generation, you're gonna realize very quickly, there's no need to be scared. It's not heart surgery on a five-year-old child, and I talk about that in one of my podcasts called, Don't Be Scared, It's Only HVAC. I talk about that in an article that I wrote, the same title. So guys, listen, don't be scared, it's only HVAC.